Now let's get in the air to see how to use a flight plan during a flight. Notice what happens on the moving map as we approach our first waypoint, the Oceanside Vortex. As you approach a waypoint, the system flashes what Garmin calls a waypoint alert. Basically, it's just a heads up that a course change is coming. In this case, the system tells you next desired track 303 degrees. And as you get close to crossing the waypoint, the system then flashes to tell you to turn to the new course. So this is a good time to set your CDI to that new course as a reminder of what your new course is. Now, the system suggests that you start your turn before you actually reach the waypoint, and that's so you'll smoothly join the next leg. That's called turn anticipation. And as you pass the waypoint, the system automatically sequences to the next leg. Now, to see where you are on your flight plan, press the flight plan button. Notice that the magenta bent arrow has also sequenced from pointing at the Oceanside Vortac to pointing at the Seal Beach Vortac, showing that leg is now active. The reason Garmin gave the flight plan group its own button is that it makes toggling back and forth between the map and the active flight plan page really easy. Now from here, we just follow along as the system sequences from waypoint to waypoint all the way to our destination. You know, this really does make getting from here to there a whole lot easier. And a lot more fun, too.